Hello everyone. So today I want to show you a cute little way to decorate your um, glass bottles. Um, you might have seen these in my video, little things in my home that make me happy. Um, and it has been requested a couple times. So what you're going to need is some acorn caps. So the caps of the acorn some glass bottles with some corks. Um, you want the corks because that is key, okay? You're gonna need some red paint and some white paint, or the colors of your choice. You don't have to do the red and white. Um, and you're also gonna need a paintbrush. So, what you're gonna do, and you're gonna need some, um, hold on one second. You will also need some type of super glue. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your cap, your little um, thing out of there, and you're gonna put a dot of super glue inside the egg corn cap, right where the stem is. Almost time to open a new E6000. Okay, and then you stick your cork, the, the biggest side out, you stick it right, stick it right on the inside and let it dry like that. So it looks like this. So if you want it to close, your bottle to close all the way, make sure um, that the sides of the acorn cap aren't too long. Um, Otherwise, your cap will just kind of sit on top of your bottle and it won't go down into the hole anymore. Therefore, it won't close. Um, but once you've got this done, you let that dry. And I've got one that's already dried right here. So you just paint it red or any color that you want. So this one here is a smaller one that I did. Um, I've got this size that I'm doing now and then this size so you can you know because acorns come in all different sizes um, and then you just want to paint it whatever color let it dry and then I'll show you what okay so I'm just gonna take just red I like to do red because it's kind of it's kind of like a I like to my I like my house to look kind of like fairy tale themed. I always have liked that look. I always envied it when I seen it in like you know storybook movies, the magical home. Like that's what I aspire my home to be. It's just magical. And so doing this, um, especially if you have an apothecary or if you just have bottles on a shelf. It really, if you, and you don't know what to do with them and you're, and you're tired of, you know, doing the same old spell bottles, or you can do this with spell bottles as well. Um, but they just look so cute. Uh, it looks so cute with, when the tops look like little mushrooms. I just love it. So you just, you want to put as many coats on. So with one coat, it's going to be kind of more of a darker red, but if I did two coats, it would be a more light red. Um, it just depends on your taste and then you want to make sure you get the underside too because that's going to be visible when you close your bottles. So how have you guys been doing lately? Um, I have been not the greatest, you know, me and Mark, you know, Mark has just, he is uh, a baby boomer through and through. He was born in that generation. So me and him just see things totally different. Therefore, we butt heads differently. And I mean, we butt heads constantly and not constantly. It it's, goes through cycles. But right now, like, we're just not getting along right now. And it's mainly me. But it's him also, like, Doing things that I've asked him not to do, like, um, you know, don't, he has the option to, anyway, I don't want, I don't know if I should just talk, no, I, I'm not going to talk about our problems because that's just going to generate more problems. So, 
But good things in my life are happening. Uh, my sisters and I, are our relationships are back to normal. And, you know, um, we're no longer fighting. Um, my, my friend, you know, I let her know how I felt about things that went on between us. And she apologized and I apologized and all that. And we're good, but I'm still giving her her space because she tends to get caught up in relationships as we all do. And so, um... Right now, I feel like I can't really relate to her where she is in her life because <clears throat> we've grown, you know, we've grown apart throughout the years. Um, I've known her for most of my life, been friends with her most of my life, and we have gone through stages of our friendship. Um, you know, you start off with being wild, crazy teenagers together, and, and then you go through being first-time mothers together. And then being married at the young age together and, and and then you know subsequently divorcing said partners together and but also a lot of those big times in our life we we haven't lived near each other in I don't know since 2006 so it's been uh hold on one second Anyway, I don't know what I was talking about, and I don't think it was relevant. So I'm going to let these dry, and then um, once they're all dried up, I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, now what you want to do is take the other end of your brush um, and just put, I just use tin foil. Oh, I just use tin foil and put a little dot on here. Literally, all you need is just the smallest amount. And then you hold it from the bottom here, take the end of your brush, dip it in, and just put dots all over, as many and wherever you want, as many as you like. And it is literally that simple. So, um... I hope you guys liked this uh, tutorial and I hope you guys make these and put them in you know display them somewhere because they just add just amount the right amount of whimsy to your house so I hope you guys enjoyed these and I will see you in the next one bye